respect the calendar, right? It's way too easy for all of us across all of our devices, including our phones, right? To go to a calendar and just move stuff, move it to a different day, different week, different time of day. And therefore, things don't get done, right? Something I've started doing a while ago, and that is really focusing on where my time is actually spent and invested in. And you have major groups or, or buckets, so to speak, right? Whether it's family, health, hobbies and interests, business, careers, whatever they may be. Generally, there's, you know, three to five major buckets, so to speak, and see how they fit in. And, you know, have them color coordinated differently. You know, blue for one and orange and green and red and so forth. And then you'll see over time where you're really spending your time, your effort, your energy, and are you getting the returns that you hope and expect to get in return, right? So respect the calendar. Don't just because you because the technology enables you and allows you to quickly move things and delay and reschedule an appointment or meeting from Monday to Wednesday. Don't always do it, especially if it's important. And then when you break down your responsibilities in areas of interest and time that you're going to invest in them across these three to five major areas within them you should really look at things that are really really important urgent and then everything else and really only focus on those that are important get those done first and get them done in the morning no matter how busy you are no matter what type of person you are who likes to work late at night which I do um, when it's really really important do it first, get it done, because if we're talking about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, other things will develop throughout the day that might occupy your time, your attention, you might get tired, you might decide to aimlessly watch a YouTube video or something else, or one of the social media apps, and all of a sudden it's 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7, I have different priorities, you're home, you're with your family, you're out in the bar with your friends. You're no longer doing what you're supposed to be doing, what you said you were going to do at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning. So respect the calendar, group them, group your areas of things you want to accomplish by segments or buckets as I like to call them, and um, focus on things that are really important. If you're mindful and not just doing it at random, but if you're really mindful, if you look at your calendar the night before, and align what you're going to do tomorrow or even better if every Sunday night you spend 10 minutes and you look at that week and you really break it down and don't make sure and make sure that things are not back to back leave yourself some time in between 10 15 20 minutes depending what it is to do other things to get to a different building to have that phone call to grab that cup of coffee right you will see that in time over weeks and months you will generally be better at accomplishing things, setting priorities, investing and dedicating time, effort and energy to areas that truly deserve them and you will also have a good record and history of what you've done in the past. You can look back in the last month, the last two and see if you really were putting in time towards those big massive obnoxious goals that you set out at the beginning of the year or a few months earlier. So. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. Hopefully this is helpful to at least one of you. And if it is, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And as always, if this is the first video you see, consider subscribing and sharing it with your own circles of friends and colleagues. Have a wonderful day.